Power, super important when you wanna be an athlete, if you wanna lift heavy weights, power and rate of force development is one of those things that you just need to incorporate in your program if you wanna take your training to the next level. But there are some downsides to plyos, to jumping if you don't have the right form for it, or if you're a larger person, there's, there's lots of things that could go wrong. Or if your sport is jumping. That's it, right? <laughs> so like basketball, volleyball, all of that. For sure. So the idea is we wanna be able to train power and rate of force development safely. And Corey here has developed a way of doing that. Yeah. So let's see it. Yeah, the goal with this is because of the constraints that I live in, which is guys jumping on hardwood surfaces all the time. If I wanna increase their ability to jump, I can't have them jump more. Because once again, that's an output. Mm -hmm. So this is a way of creating power or force without beating up the joints. So a lot of you guys that you know, lift heavy weights, squatting and deadlifting, this is a great opportunity for you to develop some power, but without sacrificing you potentially blowing out a knee or hurting your back. So what we're gonna start with is the heavy end of the spectrum. So if we have a heavy implement and we try to move it fast, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong that's a lot of force, but there is a force velocity curve that we're trying to accomplish here. So the heavier weights is gonna be a slower pull or slower throw for this example. So this is gonna be the heavy end of our power. So we're just gonna do what's called a scoop toss. He's gonna to put this in an advantageous position, which is gonna be about a quarter squat in between his knees. And then he's gonna come up and extend and hopefully throw that thing straight up, straight down and not kill anybody or break anything in this, in this spot. So right. go ahead, up and extend, good. And that's a heavy weight, right? A 50 pound throw is, is pretty heavy. So as you can see, that time it took for him to get it to release, pretty, pretty slow. So now we're gonna take the 30 pound, uh, please don't break this ceiling, but, or if you do, that's, that's on Dave, not on it's me. It's not my ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna replicate the same action and then you're gonna see the speed pick up. And now this is now going more towards speed and power on the continuum. And there it goes. Now we're almost tapping banners. So <laughs> as you can tell, this is a great spectrum of being able to create power, but without actually doing a box jump or without actually doing high level plyometrics to get very similar actions. Now, one of my favorite movements to have power is to make it more in a cyclical fashion. And that's what's great about a kettlebell swing. Kettlebell swing, you just continuously do reps, which is the same as sprinting and jumping. So ideally we want to get in this Nice little kettlebell <clears throat> swing where he's gonna keep this thing close to his stuff and then he's gonna extend it with his hips. So this is more of like a horizontal, so he's gonna get a lot more glute and ham. I'm glad the first day we touched butts, but that's good. So <laughs> as he's extending, he's snapping this thing down, pulling it right back, snapping, pulling it right down, good. So this is power development, but it's gonna be with a decent load and it's cyclical in nature. So he can do Woo! 15 to 20 reps. I almost, and that's, set, my, I almost set myself in the jump. <laughs> got me get, all excited, you touch, me, touch my touch butt. butt. <laughs> don't give yourself that much credit. But, <laughs> but the, uh, the good thing about a kettlebell is the sport itself is technically a conditioning sport. It's about reps, it's about volume and time. And so what's cool is if you, when you get heavy with it, then it's still the same action, it's still, still cyclical. So you can get a lot of work in with just a small amount of time. But as you can tell, that's great power development, but the best part is receiving the swing. So yes, he's creating output when he extends it, but more importantly, when he snaps it back down, he's now what's getting, or getting into what's called eccentric rate of force development, which is a huge component of jumping. A lot of people think about jumping as the end result. Mm -hmm. It's how you approach the jump, the downward aspect, the eccentric of going into a jump is more important in my opinion than the actual concentric, the jumping aspect. So this is a great way of preparing for that eccentric rate of force development that we're about to get a little deeper into next. Cool, let's see it. So continuing our theme with the kettlebell swing is having a cyclical power development movement. Once again, we are more concerned if we're looking at power development as a V, this is the loading phase of it, output, is the concentric phase. So now we're working on the input, which is the loading phase, and we're finding a way to do this cyclically, right? So now we're gonna make it more athletic. So we're gonna see what man Sam's got here oh, for his shit. first attempt. Never and done these before. <laughs> sure, he's practiced all the time. Let's see how this works up. <laughs> but here, we are going to a more athletic position, which is obviously a single leg stance. So we're gonna go a split lunge. So I'll coach you through the progression of it. Okay. And then we'll have someone else who's an expert really, really kill it. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll have the kettlebell in your right hand with your left foot forward. 
Now from this position, just for the first progression, we're gonna drop down as fast as we can. Catch. Ready, and drop. Perfect, stand back up, repeat. Great, stand back up, repeat. So he's working on how fast he can go down because that is what develops the energy to allow us, like a super ball, the harder I threw the ball down to the ground, higher the super ball bounce, I hope. Now we're gonna make it cyclical. So we'll start with your feet together again. And he's gonna drop, stand, drop, stand, same arm, same leg. So All you right. shouldn't, shouldn't screw this one up. <laughs> See that shit? <laughs> and here we go. Drop, up, drop, up, drop, up, drop, up. Make it like a dance. Don't be too much of a white boy. There we go. There's there rhythm. There we go, there we go. There's rhythm. <laughs> and relax, good. Hey, that wasn't too bad. No, no, not no. Not MC but Hammer, but it's not th bad. There was a it's lot of constant, bad. if you zoomed in my face, I'm like, don't fuck up, don't fuck up, don't fuck up. Now, expert. <laughs> now we're gonna bring in our expert real quick. And this is, the point of this is to be able to do this once again over time. Everyone, this is Shireen. Shireen, this is everyone. She, she's awesome. And what she's gonna do is perform this same action, but she's gonna alternate and make it in a rhythmic fashion. So we're gonna, hey, let's do about 30, 40 reps. Just be continuous with it. And then you'll see the ease of the movement. And once again, you saw the same weight, same person. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable concentration. With her, you should see loose, rhythmic, just like a dance. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hit it. So as you can see that nice little release, but this is a great conditioning tool. I use this all the time for myself. Do it with quote unquote EMOMs. Uh, but this is a great way to get the eccentric rate of force development into our single leg action. When you do this, I assure you, say you do 20 seconds on, 40 seconds off, do this for about eight to 10 minutes, I promise you the next day, your glutes and hams, especially your glutes, are gonna be blown up. Great job. And to finalize our power development, now we're bringing in our expert yet again uh, to be able to do what's called partner passing. And I got this from a gentleman named Tony at Kettlebell Partner Passing Certification. He's awesome. But what we're trying to do here is create more load and we're trying to do this in a cyclical fashion yet again. So, Shireen, go ahead and start this thing off. So she's going to throw it to me and then I'm going to receive that high velocity, high load. And this is gonna be just like sprinting and jumping where it's elastic. So I catch and then I throw. More importantly, it's a contraction followed immediately by a relaxation. So contract, relax, contract, relax. The best athletes in the world are the ones that can do that the most efficient and the fastest. All right, you ready? Yep. Count it down. Yep. And three, two, two. one. Excellent. Good. Good. Throw to me, not high. Throw to me, not high. Beautiful. And this is a great way to warm up and also a great way to finish. We're gonna keep going, babe. Great job. Load up those glutes and hams. Once again, another good one to develop that posterior chain. But as you can tell, the speed of the catch is a lot faster than you do with your typical traditional lifting. So if we're thinking about eccentrics, most people think about five, four, three, mm -hmm. two, one, doing them in a very slow fashion, which don't get me wrong, awesome for hypertrophy. But here we're trying to increase athleticism. So we increase power. So now we're taking the eccentric concept of going slow and now we're just speeding it up a ton. And that's gonna create a lot of great tissue development. More importantly, it's gonna create those power uh, the power movement that we're trying to get into our jump. It's so kind of like the idea of throwing bands on a bench. Exactly. Same idea. Cool. Same idea. Awesome. All right, guys, there you go. Power development, rate of force development. There's no excuse for you guys to be slow and weak now. So like that was the secret, that was the secret sauce there. So thank you guys for checking out this video. Thank you to my awesome team here of professionals, <laughs> directors of awesome. Ready? Directors. Directors. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, thank you very much for checking out the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share it to all your friends, family, whoever you want to share it to. And thank you very much, Corey. Thank Always. you very much for coming out. This is awesome. And we will see you in the next one.